I'll show you one last thing. When I log in this time and I go back to my Q&A page, I'm going to come in here. And initially when I log in, I can see there's no unread post. There is one an answered question, the one we created before, but I didn't answer. And there's no unresolved follow-ups. You can also see how many posts there are, how many contributions there have been, how many responses I had versus my students. So I had more, but my students were contributing as well. There are almost 200 student responses to all the questions. Um, and then their average response time is right here. And sometimes I'll challenge students to keep their response time low. It tends to go up overnight when they're posting questions and I'm not up, and it tends to go down during the day. And that's um, what should get you started with the Piazza. Again, I wish you all the best. Um, try and have fun with it. It can be time consuming if you go in and use it a lot of, for a lot of questions and answers, and I would suggest just off the bat, kind of tell students what your expectations are. Hey, this is for you. You're using it. Um, there's a GSI who's going to be monitoring it kind of in there, and um, or I'm going to be using it, and they'll, they'll get a sense of what your expectations are for their performance, for their questions, their answers. Um, encourage them. I think it helps if you're involved, and they know if you're involved and if you're watching and monitoring it too, and that helps keep them on pace.